Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this ultimate triple gaming comparison. I got you the Redmi Note 7 Pro, the Samsung Galaxy A50, and the Samsung Galaxy A70. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you the heating part later. That, that was too fast. But hey, I'm pretty excited to know which one of these three is actually the best at playing PUBG. And of course, who among these guys can actually play Fortnite? That's coming up later. In this comparison, we're gonna try to find out which one can actually play PUBG the smoothest at any given game setting. So yeah, we're gonna be playing at HD graphics, higher frame rates, all the way to HDR graphics and extreme frame rates. And also, I'm gonna test how hot these guys are, if they heat up very quickly, and things like that. Also, I'm gonna be having a battery test after this, so be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss it. And without further ado, let the bell begin. No. All right, here we go. So just let them cool for a bit, for about 10 minutes. At the base, we've got here 30 degrees, about 31, almost 32. And right here, we've got 31. All right, so those are the base temperatures. Let's try the game. So the first graphic setting that we're gonna test is HD graphics and high frame rates. Okay, we just closed up a bit. Here we go. And here we go. Remember, Redmi Note 7 Pro, A50, and A70. So first off is the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Wow. Doing good. This is well. And A70. Okay, well display-wise, these guys are pretty much the same in, in terms of quality. But then again, the A70 has a longer display compared to the A50. The Redmi Note 7 Pro has the smallest display, 6.3, 6.4 on the A50, and 6.7 on the A70. Okay, so there you go. They're, they look pretty much the same to me in terms of HD graphics and high frame rates. So first graphic setting, no problem at all. All right, so let's bump up the graphics, HDR and ultra frame rates. Okay, HDR graphics, ultra frame rates. Here we go. Starting off with the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Okay. It looks like the A50 is a little bit smoother. Yes, it is. And we've got here the A70, the smoothest among the three. Boom. A50, A70, and here's the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Okay, all three phones in the same game. Again, Redmi Note 7 Pro, A50, and then A70. Whoa, wait, A50 looks quite smooth here. And A70 also looks quite smooth. Redmi Note 7 Pro, I think is lagging behind. Well, we're not really that sure yet. It's actually pretty close. I still can't see the big difference at all. It's not really that noticeable yet. Looks like the Snapdragon 675 processors is not doing quite well here. Hmm. Yeah, I can see that smoothness right here on the A50. The A70, not as smooth. It's just the ultra frame rates though. So we got here the GFX tool. I'm gonna hack the game because by default, it doesn't let me go to HDR graphics and extreme frame rates. But right here, I got it all set up. This time, we're gonna be having some anti-aliasing just times two. Later, we're gonna try times four. And of course, a higher resolution, all the way to 1440p. And as you can see, everything is all set up right here. HDR graphics, extreme frame rates, realistic, two times anti-aliasing. We're good to go. Starting off with the Redmi Note 7 Pro. It is still quite smooth, guys. It's gotten smoother right here on the A70 because it's now extreme frame rates. Yeah, very good. And, and it looks like the A50 it has gotten slower this time. So it looks like it's just a bit of optimization. It was very smooth earlier, but right now, the A70 and the Redmi Note 7 Pro is dominating. As you can see, the A50 is struggling right now. The Redmi Note 7 Pro is not. And whoa, the A70 is also struggling a bit. Yeah, the Redmi Note 7 is doing quite well. Now both these guys, yeah, the A50 is really struggling right here. Followed by the A70. Wow, this is looking quite good. I guess a little bit of optimization would do on the A70 because the Redmi Note 7 Pro has been out in the market for quite some time now, and, and there has been a lot of updates already for this phone. So that's why. So that's why you see that level of performance on the A50. No, A70 almost there. Okay, so I'm gonna stress these phones out. Really stress them out. Times four. I'm gonna add some light effects. High. 
There you go guys, everything is all maxed out, like super maxed out. Let's see how far these phones can go. Okay, so as you can see, everything looks a lot smaller right here because I've maxed out the resolution. That's a 1440p resolution right there. Look at that, it's lagging in the interface. Okay, so, whoa, look at that. That, that is, whoa, that is terrible on the A50. And here is the A70. Now this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Yeah, that is the max graphics you can get for PUBG. Here's the Redmi Note 7 Pro. It's actually doing great. The Redmi Note 7 Pro is actually doing great. The A50 right here is just doing bad. Now from the looks of it, the, it looks like the Redmi Note 7 Pro is the smoothest among the three, followed by the A70 and then the A50. So let me just do the plain scene right here. Okay, A50, okay, A70. Okay. You'll know it's lagging because when I do this, it's not really instant. It's not gonna turn instant. As you can see on the A70 right here. Darn. Okay, here we go. So here's the, <laughs> here's the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Darn, that looks terrible. And here, that looks so terrible on the A50. This is still manageable. And the A70. It looks like the Redmi Note 7 Pro and the A70 is at the same level right here. This is just terrible on the A50. That is the difference between the Snapdragon 675 processor and the processor on the A50, which is an Exynos 9610 processor. I'm really impressed with the Redmi Note 7 Pro. It's still doing great, actually, after all the 1440p. But of course, nobody in their right mind would actually go this far. I'm just stressing out these phones right here, but yeah. Going HDR graphics, extreme frame rates, and the base resolution would actually do. You don't really need this kind of resolution at all, but it is quite impressive that with only just a mid-range processor, they're able to do this. It is quite a sight to see. So yeah, it's time to check out how hot these guys are right now. We've got 45 degrees here on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and 46 degrees on the Samsung Galaxy A50 and 45, 44 degrees. So this is the hottest among the three. It went all the way to 46. There you go, guys. Now from the looks of it, the Redmi Note 7 Pro is looking to be the best gaming phone right here. But in reality, if you compare it to the likes of the A50 and A70, and the display is really not as good as the other two right here. I'm telling you right now, if you haven't experienced a Samsung Super AMOLED display yet, yeah, you're, you're gonna be so blown away by it if you're coming from an IPS display. I mean, I got a lot of comments on my unboxing video for the A70. They were saying, oh, 20K. I mean, the Pocophone F1 is a lot cheaper and it can do so much more. But the thing is, guys, the Pocophone F1 does not have this kind of display. The graphics on these two looks just so much better. It's just that the camera has some limitations to it. You'll not really see a big difference right here on this comparison when it comes to the display. It's just my camera. But yeah, go to any Samsung store, see it for yourself. A Samsung display is easily the best out there, period. All right, so far so good. Now the big question is, can these guys play Fortnite? Okay, let's play Fortnite. Here we go. All right, so this is still finding some stuff. Okay, so here we go. Okay. So for the Redmi Note 7 Pro, you can only play at low settings, 30 frames per second. While here, oh, that looks good. On the A70, it's also the same. Low settings, 30 frames per second. Yeah. Okay. The graphics looks good though. So here's the comparison between two phones. So finally, we've got here the A50 running, and it looks like it can play at high settings and 30 frames per second. What the? Okay, so it hanged up. Yeah, it hanged up. All right. I think this is gonna hang up as well. Hanging up. Okay, it did. Well, by default, you can't actually play Fortnite on the Galaxy A50 because the GPU is not supported. The only phone that you can play here natively out of the box is the Galaxy A70. Right now, I don't have the latest MIUI update from Xiaomi. There's actually a latest version that will let you play Fortnite without any hitch. But yep, only the A70 is able to play this without any issues at all. This requires some hacking. This requires an update. Out of the box, you can play Fortnite. All right, 
So yeah, that's actually pretty much it for this triple gaming comparison. If you were to ask me which one to get, I would actually go for this phone right here because it has the biggest display. But if you're not a big display person, just go with the Redmi Note 7 Pro. It's a lot cheaper, also has a big battery, and it looks like it's doing pretty well right here on PUBG even on the highest settings possible. But yeah, you're not gonna get the best display experience right here. If you want the best displays, it's always Samsung phones. That's why I'm highly recommending if you're into gaming, this will certainly do. This, my friends, is just a stress test. You don't really need to go this far. In terms of the graphics, this will certainly do. Like, no problem at all. Next up on Tech Beans, a complete battery comparison between these two. I'm gonna drain them up as well as charging them. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss it. This is Vincent McGraw from TechBeans, and I'll see you on the next video.